Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like the biggest cause of not having anything to wear is simply the fact that your wardrobe does not have enough basics in it. So for today's video, we are going to combat the got nothing to wear issue with picking up some really great basics. I know shopping for basics sounds like a really boring haul but i promise it's not i also have some tips and tricks and styling basics and what i look for in good quality basics but before we get into the haul and all of that be sure you take the time right now and subscribe also be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post i post new videos every thursday and saturday and yeah let's get into the video so kind of the key to basics is to make sure they're pretty basic which is kind of self-explanatory but just making sure that your item isn't too too stylized or too much of a statement piece also kind of picking things that are a little bit more neutral in color just kind of emphasizes the basicness of it because the whole goal of a basic is being able to incorporate it into a lot of different outfits so kind of like building that capsule wardrobe you want to get items that really work well together and a neutral basic is going to be a great starting point in building block of really any outfit so starting us off we got a good old-fashioned black tank top and I do though like having a little bit of trendy fashion incorporated into my basics just to kind of keep my wardrobe up to date and refresh but nothing too too crazy so as you can see this is a pretty basic black tank top but it does have some stylized elements to it with that really thick strap on it and then also the neckline on it being a little bit more squared off and straight across I think both of those elements give it a little sprinkle of style to it but it still at its root is a very basic top this one also has a little bit of a razor back in the back so it doesn't just go kind of straight back in the straps there is a little bit of a V going on there and again I feel like that adds just enough style to it to make it look a little more refreshed more trendy but not too too trendy or too much of a statement so I really like that just trying to find the line between it being too trendy versus just too plain of a basic and then this is actually like really soft like really nice material the brain on this is Michael Lauren and I did get it from Revolve I actually got all of these tops from Revolve so I'll be sure to link them all down below what I do also really like about this top is the cut of it so it's not too too cropped it's actually at a really nice length where you can wear it untucked of shirts and it falls at a nice place or if you're wearing something high-waisted you can easily tuck it in it also just kind of gives a little bit more variety on where you can wear it to if your top's too too cropped sometimes it just looks too summerish and not in season so having it this length I think helps it work throughout multiple seasons and then obviously the black color a very neutral very basic and yeah, overall, I feel like this is a great way to incorporate a nice little black tank top into your wardrobe as a solid basic. All right, and then next up, we've got another black tank top style, but as you can see, this one is completely different. So this has a little turtleneck on it and the cutoff sleeves. And what I like about this one is that it is a very different look. So you're not having as much skin showing in this area. You know, you have that turtleneck, it's high up, but then you still have some skin showing on the sleeve. So it's still kind of that tank top style, cutoff tee style. And the cutoff tee, I will say, is a little bit more stylized than the last tank top with just the simple cut of it, but I think it has been around for quite a while now and it kind of has niched itself into being a basic and a pretty neutral style, so not thinking that this is going to be seen as too, too trendy, but we'll see as the trends change. This one does, however, have a little bit of the shoulder padding in it, which I'm always like, eh, about. Like, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just kind of there, but it does help give a little bit more structure to the top. Also, if you feel like you want your shoulders to find more, then shoulder pads are great. I do, again, really like the length on this one. It's not too, too cropped, so you can still wear it with a lot of different styles. You can tuck it into something high-waisted. You can leave it down for something low-waisted, so a lot of different opportunities on how you can wear this. Also, the fact that it is a turtleneck style, but still, like, cut 
cut off sleeves. It works really well as a layering piece in the transition between summer and fall since it's still kind of hot outside but you still want the look of layers. Having this kind of tank top style is a really great hack. Instead of having an actual long sleeve turtleneck under your layer, you have just a short sleeve turtleneck under your layer. So just another little fashion tip there um, if it runs warm where you're at and the brand on this one is sanctuary and I think it is really nice quality again when you are getting basics I think it is really worth it to invest in a good quality basic because the point is to incorporate them in a lot of different outfits which means you're gonna get a lot of wear out of them and if they're not as nice quality they're gonna really break down quickly so you want to make sure that your basics that you're wearing a lot more often are that really good quality just so they last and you don't have to repurchase them and it in the long run helps you save money yeah overall i feel like having this turtleneck cutoff top is a really great basic to have in your wardrobe especially with that transition from summer to fall all right and then next up we've got this little quarter length sleeve top from free people and i feel like this is a nice twist on having the classic kind of fitted long sleeve cream or white top, just adding a little bit of style to it, a little bit of trendy elements, but not making it too, too trendy. So I do like the sleeve length on this. I feel like quarter length sleeves, some people love them, some people hate them. I'm like in between, but on this top particularly, I really like them because this fabric is like so so comfortable like literally the softest stretchiest just bestest fabric ever so i honestly wouldn't mind if this was long sleeve either because it just feels so nice on but yeah again this is from free people this i think is from their intimate collection so that might be why it's this really soft nice fabric but anyways aside from the fabric i really do like the cut on this one the neckline is really fun too it's kind of this deep v in it but a little more angular in the cut which again just kind of adds a little bit more style to maybe a simple v-neck or a scoop neck top and then the fit on this one is really nice. I think having a nice fitted top is a really great basic to kind of contrast if you have more flowy pants or baggier jackets just to help balance some of your outfits. So it is nice to incorporate that variety in your wardrobe, not just in actual style, but also in the actual fit of the clothing. And again, I did get it in this neutral coloring just to help it kind of blend and fit into the rest of my wardrobe. And yeah, overall, this is probably the most comfortable basic I have in this haul to add to your wardrobe. All right, and last but definitely not least, I've got this oversized t-shirt from Ralph Lauren. And this I don't think is intentionally supposed to be super oversized. They just were out of extra small and small, so I ended up just going with the medium, which is in fact pretty oversized on me. But that is also kind of my intention and tip for this basic is opposite of the last look, having a very fitted top, having a more flowy oversized t-shirt, I feel like can just really incorporate that effortlessly chic look. Just the fact that it's a t-shirt, looks like you just threw it on, you don't care, totally effortless, but then you incorporate it with more chic items like a trouser pant or tailored short. I feel like that contrast of the casual and formal really it gives a life to an outfit in a lot of dimension. So yeah, I feel like this top is perfect for that. I did get it in this light heather gray, which I feel like gray gets very overlooked in my wardrobe as a basic color. I don't know. It might be a color theory thing. Maybe... Maybe gray is not my color and that's why. Let me know if anybody's like into any of that or might know or knows a link to find out more about that. Let me know in the comments down below, please. But anyways, here is the t-shirt and this one I feel like looks really nice tucked into something. I probably wouldn't wear it all the way baggy like it is just naturally but that's kind of just more of my preference i feel like being a little bit on the shorter side having a little bit more structure on the shapes of your outfit kind of helps you look a little bit taller sometimes um so I like to look a little bit taller as much as I can. And then the quality on this top is really, really nice. It is Ralph Lauren. I know, again, spending a lot of money on t-shirts, you don't have to necessarily spend like Ralph Lauren prices, but just finding some oversized t-shirt that 
isn't super low quality because I feel like it's really easy to find low quality t-shirts versus high quality t-shirts. But I really do think it is worth an investment if this is something you know you're going to wear a lot, a lot of times and get a lot, a lot of use out of it. But overall, I feel like having a good quality oversized t-shirt is a great way to add that effortlessly chic element to your wardrobe. All right, so that was my full try on haul from Revolve. Hopefully now when you have nothing to wear, you can think of some basics that you might already have in your wardrobe that are similar to these items that you can easily build outfits off of. If you liked any of these basics specifically, I do have them linked down below. So you can go check them out down there. And again, I feel like basics are so essential for literally any wardrobe. So if you're in need of more ideas of how to style style basics a little bit more, be sure to leave a comment down below and maybe I can incorporate that into my next video. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this style video, little try on and fashion tips, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends. Also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.